What is there to do in Orlando during the holiday season? Stick around, you're about to find out. We're gonna hit up theme parks, tourist traps, and local spots too. There's gonna be plenty of food, let's eat. We made it to our first stop, Disney's Grand Floridian Hotel. They have a unique gingerbread display here. It is a house, gingerbread house, structured out of wood and adorned with gingerbread cookies. The best part is that you can try the gingerbread cookie shingles, they call it. That is the same type of cookie used to adorn it. Let's see how it tastes. This is the gingerbread cookie shingle um, with dark chocolate. Chocolate's on the back and the ingredients list. I really, what if I spill it? Or you can't spill it, it's a cookie. I drop it. Okay, I'm like struggling. How do I open this? No idea. Oh my God. They don't want me to eat it. We'll cut this part. This is like those puzzle games that I suck at. <laughs> the TMI, but okay. Oh my God, it smells so good. Does it? It's a pretty somewhat thick layer of chocolate. Um, it smells like that red tin box of cookies that you get at Costco or Trader Joe's. It smells like that. It smells good. All right, let's taste it. The first taste you get is the gingerbread cookie, which is actually pretty soft. I thought it was going to be hard. And then you get the dark chocolate aftertaste. It does blend well together. If you're visiting the Grand Floridian Hotel and you love gingerbread, this is a must buy. We made it to our second spot, Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. They have an awesome Christmas tree display here, especially if you visit during the night, even if you're not here for the Christmas party. It's definitely something you have to add to your list. There's nothing like Walt Disney World to put you into the holiday spirit. Let's explore a bit. Let's check out the food. Let's see, they have some specialty holiday food items. Let's see what we try. Let's eat. We're here at Auntie Gravity's Galactic Goodies to try the Lock, Shock, and Barrel Sunday that's themed after Nightmare Before Christmas. And as you can see, we have Lock, Shock, and Barrel on a piece of white chocolate. All right, let's taste. Just white chocolate, nothing special to it. Oh, I don't like white chocolate. Sunday has vanilla soft serve with a vanilla sponge cake and some festive sprinkles. And to pour some whipped cream. You can't forget whipped cream. The decoration is very pretty. The colors are very festive, but there's nothing festive about their flavors. It's just a simple soft serve with strawberries and sponge cake. If you know what Costco's strawberry sundae tastes like, it tastes a lot like that. You're not really missing out if you don't buy it. It is a beautiful souvenir, so if you want it for that, you definitely should pick it up. Icon Park, they have a wonderful Christmas display during the holidays. I believe it's located right in the center here, in the middle of the grass. It's definitely a spot you want to visit can't miss the central tourist destination of the world. Grinchmas, literally, you cannot miss this spot if you're gonna be down in Orlando for the holidays. In Seuss Landing in Islands of Adventure, one of the best spots for the holiday season. Let's see if we find some Who's. All right, we're walking around Seuss Landing, looking for Who's. Who are they? Where are they from? And who do they work for? The Grinchmas Hula Day Spectacular is that way. Grand opening tonight. Okay, we found some who's here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Happy, Happy Hula Days. We don't. Where's my gifts? Where are my gifts? Nobody. That's the problem. <laughs> oh wow, we got gifts. Here you go. She got you. Merry Christmas. No, Happy Hula Day. Wow. <laughs> A thief. A thief. Here we go. Here. You hold it. The cat in the hat. Thing one and thing two behind him. Nice little photo op here. 
can't be a uh, hula day without green eggs and ham. We're about to try the hoo hash and the green eggs and ham. This place looks <laughs> like it came out of the storybook. It's incredible. Look at the little sausage at the top there. You're gonna love this place. All right, we got the green egg and ham tots. $9.99. Green eggs, diced ham, white cheese, and there's a sauce over the tater tots. Gigantic bite here. See how good this is. Wow, hey. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. I like that. Let me try the eggs by themselves. Green eggs. <laughs> Tastes a little bit buttery. <laughs> Not a little bit. Very buttery. The queso sauce they pour over this. Cheesy, eggy potatoes and ham. Wow. I wasn't expecting this at all. All right, we had over here the hoo hash. $14.99. Corned beef, onions, white cheese sauce, scallions, and tater tots in a hoo hash can. It's a souvenir. So I guess your best bet is to rinse it before you take it home. All right, let's try this. Here we go. Let's try this hoo hash. See what it's all about. Corned beef and the same white cheese sauce. Let, let's find out why the Grinch loves this. That's kind of what I want to know, right? Why does the Grinch love who has? Oh, okay. Now I know. The Grinch. I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> I know why you love this so much. The brisket by itself. Adds a very nice smokiness to it. I think I love tater tots. They're crunchy, they're mushy. It's kind of like a crispy mashed potato. Get the green eggs and ham. Has more flavor. You might be asking yourself, what makes the green eggs and ham green? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Just order it, you're gonna love it. All right, we're over here at Universal Studios. They have some amazing holiday specials. Look at the theming here. Very beautiful. This is in Battery Park. I'm about to try eggnog for the first time in my life. I've never had this before. I got the deluxe one. So this has eight-year-old Bacardi. It's got to be smooth, though, right? Definitely. Oh, wow. I took an extended sip there. Very creamy, simony, very thick. Very liquory. Oh, I love this. Ignite. It's got to be part of more holidays. <laughs> Cheers to you. Happy holidays. Hello. Hello. Oh, no, 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 corner. Hello. Tiny camera. Okay. One of the best spots to visit, especially if you're from up north or you're used to visiting New York is the New York area here in Universal Studios Orlando Resort. They have a nice setup here in the New York area, the Christmas tree, and they also have a Macy's Christmas parade. You don't want to miss out on. All right, we're in the New York area, so it only makes sense to try the New York slice. New Yorker tries Universal Studios New York pizza. Off the bat, I gotta say, this is super floppy. This is not a New York slice. I can't even grab it. Even if I want to fold it, it's still pretty bad. It's kind of like a Costco kind of slice, right? Let's taste it though. Let's see. Is it better or worse than Costco? Because that's the kind of tier I'm putting it in right now. Worse than Costco? So at least Costco, it's very thick, right? And very bready. It goes through a conveyor belt. You can taste that too. A bit upset. I thought this was going to be better. New York area, New York pizza, holidays, the holiday season, iconic in New York. I feel like Universal definitely fell short here. Lake Eola, a public park located in downtown Orlando. During the holiday season, there's a giant Christmas tree show, meet and greet with Santa, 
and even a holiday market on weekend nights. Mark your calendar each month for the 407 Food Fair held at Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company, always packed with more than a dozen of Orlando's best food trucks. You wouldn't miss it for the world. It's the Pizza Slut. We're finally going to try this spot. They have some amazing creations and added bonus. She's got white and black truffles. I'm super excited to try them out. So how long have you been doing this? Um, I started making pizza about three years ago now, like right when the pandemic hit. So this is kind of like Neapolitan style. What drew you it's to that sourdough. kind of style? The sourdough. Yeah, it's all sourdough pizza. Oh, come on. My sourdough's been going for about eight years. You know my favorite pizzeria in New York? Scars? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. So that's getting cooked. That cooked in like two minutes. Not even in two minutes. 30 seconds. Oh, I love the basil. Okay, so these are blacks from, uh, these ones are from Italy. From Italy, okay. Wow, look at this. I'm gonna go a little crazy. For Where you can guys. you get this in uh, in Orlando? Black truffle pizza from Italy. This is amazing. Look at this. Incredible. Right. I've been talking about it so much. It's time to try it out. Let's see how good it is. Oh. Oh man, this is amazing. Brock's Barbecue, a food truck you definitely have to visit. They have a sort of Thanksgiving sandwich that I can't wait to try, and that's why we're here. But he also has amazing smoked brisket. You don't want to miss this spot here. All right, we're inside Brock's Barbecue food truck. We're about to have the holiday sandwich. A little mayo on there, smoked turkey. Yep. Yeah, smoked turkey. Smoked turkey and some stuffing. That looks amazing. That looks so juicy right there. And the onions. Wow. Fried onions. Oh, gravy on the side. That looks really good, actually. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very moist, very juicy. Foodie intuition. I know this is going to be amazing. Sandwich. They got the gravy dip. Let's dip this right here. Wow! That smoked turkey. You're not gonna get this anywhere else. That's freaking amazing. Look at this bite right here. It's super tender, super moist. Exactly what you want. They gave me a little bit of their brisket to try out. Let's see how good this is. Wow! Some of the best brisket I've ever had in my life. So fatty. So tender, you definitely don't want to miss out, especially if you're in Central Florida. Cheers to you. Happy holidays.